everyone. We are here at IMTS 2024 in the Mitutoyo booth with Jeremy, and we're going to be talking about what Mitutoyo is well known for, their micrometers, and specifically their new product that is out, one of their new quantum mics. So, Jeremy, I'm going to turn it over to you. Why yep. don't you highlight the mic that we're going to be talking about and give us a little bit of an overview and the functions that it makes this micrometer unique. Okay. So, right here are our quantum mics. Uh, this is our zero to one quantum mic. So we have the, uh, the old quantum mics, call them the old quantum mics, they're about five years old. Uh, and the main difference between a regular micrometer and a quantum mic is the pitch of the thread. So everyone knows that there's a thread inside the spindle and that drives the spindle back and forth. That determines not only the accuracy, but also the speed at which it goes. Um, so the quantum mic actually has a two millimeter thread pitch. That allows us to move much faster, four times faster wow. than traditional. Yeah. And what about accuracy? Well, even with that new, uh, thread pitch, we make the screws to precision that allows us to maintain that 50 millionth accuracy. So it's a, just as accurate as a standard pitch micrometer, uh, but we have that faster speed and maintain the accuracy. Fantastic. And I know there's a couple features on here in terms of the calibration and getting data off of the micrometer and into some type of data system. Can you talk to those points? Yeah, so uh, the quantum mic has a couple, the new quantum mic has a couple of new functions that are very nice. Uh, so for example, there's a, a calendar icon on okay. the screen. And th what that does is that tells the operator that the calibration date is uh, current, right? So in medical and aerospace fields, the calibration date's very expensive. You don't, very important. You don't want to uh, measure a part uh, that's gonna go into the body that's uh, with a gauge that's expired. Sure. Right, right. Uh, just like you don't want to measure airplane parts with a gauge that's expired. Yes. So uh, the, the calibration tech will set the date and then this little icon tells the operator that it's good to go. So he can just pick up this gauge, measure his parts, and ask confidence that it's calibrated. And you had mentioned before something about offsets. Yeah, so there's also a calculation function in this gauge. Uh, and that calculation function could be used for a couple different things. Uh, you could use it for temperature compensation if the lab's really hot. Um, or you could use it to uh, determine the offset value. So instead of just measuring the part and getting the actual measurement, I could configure that so that I get the offset back to the machine tool. Operator can measure the part and then just type into the PLC what the offset is. Okay, and you do have a USB-C on here, correct? Uh, so we have our Digimatic uh, SPC port. Okay. So for example, let's say I'm measuring the part and I want to get that data to a computer. Sure. Uh, instead of just typing it in, I would put the transmitter on, hit the data button, and it would automatically go right into the computer. Easy as that. Yes. yes. And range of product line, how big of parts, how small of parts are we measuring here? Right, so all micrometers have a, have a limited range. That uh, higher accuracy comes with a limited range. Sure. Uh, so this is a zero to one. It'll measure anything from just over zero to just under one inch, yep. uh, but we have all the way up to three to four. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Well, Jeremy, thanks so much for being with us. Mm -hmm. If any of our viewers want to learn more about what you guys are offering here at Mitutoyo, what website can they find you at? Uh, Mitutoyo.com. Uh, you could go to my Mitutoyo end user portal. And of course, we're here at IMTS all week. Fantastic. Thank you guys so much for watching and be sure to visit the Mitutoyo booth here at IMTS 2024. And we'll see you next time.